If you are a Mac user and also like to stay organized on your Mac, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and this is one of a series of videos I'm doing this week all about some great little uh, utilities and uh, menu bar apps and Mac apps that you can get as part of the setup bundle. But I'll talk about the setup uh, bundle at the end of the video. But for now, we'll get straight on into this app because it's a great little app called Yoink. <laughs> and basically, it is something that you can use for uh, helping you with your file management. And it does one thing, but it does it very well. And it's probably easier, it's easiest <laughs> if I just demonstrate it to you. So here I am on my desktop and uh, I tend to use my desktop much like the top of my actual desk, which is when I'm working during the day, I tend to throw a load of things onto it. And then at the end of the day, I clear it all away and file everything where it should go nice and uh, organized. Uh, so uh, when I do have things on my desktop or when I'm working in the Finder even, and I maybe have different folders and things like that open and I want to sort of shuttle things between different folders, or maybe I've got a project where I've got a load of different files uh, from all different uh, kinds of applications and they're all there on the desktop and then I want to clear them all away and get them packed into those folders. Well, Yoink is basically, uh, think of it a little bit like a shelf <laughs> where you can store all of your folders to then get over, get them all over into uh, the Finder. So uh, here I am on the desktop and what you'll notice on the uh, left hand side, as soon as I pick up this file and start to drag it, there's this little window appears and this is the uh, Yoink <laughs> uh, interface and I can just drop that on there and there we've got a file. And by the way, Yoink is a application that sits in your menu bar, but I can also do things like I can just simply uh, uh, copy something from the paste, uh, the clipboard. So some text that I just copied from the uh, from the website from Yoink has just been dropped in there. I can preview all of these things. I can preview any images and I can drop as many different files and folders and things like that on this little shelf as I want. But then when I navigate to my find finder, say I've got a folder that I want all of these things to be packed away into. So let me just quickly create one for you. I just paused for a moment there because I had actually got a folder created. So let's just say that you've got a particular folder and so you've dragged on all of these different things that you want to uh, sort uh, and then now you can simply drag them from Yoink and put them in the folder and you'll notice that it's disappeared from the desktop uh, but put it into here. So you are actually moving the original file but it just makes, I mean obviously if I'd only got this folder and that desktop item then probably could have just dragged it straight in, couldn't I? But when you are working and you've got multiple different windows over uh, consider this a sort of holding area that allows you to flick between different uh, things or maybe you've got a finder window open and you're not sure quite where you're going to put it so you can just put it here for the time being uh, and then you haven't actually copied it it is just sitting there and then maybe you create another finder window uh, and then you want to just put it in here somewhere so say I want to move it to my take one tech folder then I could just drag it into here like this and then it will have just uh, popped down there so that is just an example of how you can use it to move files and folders folders around but you can also use it say you're doing research or something like that and you want to get images off the internet then you can simply just drag them from websites and drag them over onto there as well or maybe you want to take a text snippet and uh, just copy that and then you can just uh, add it to the clipboard in that way there as well and as I say just grabbing images and things like that it's just simply a case of uh, drag and drop and that one is actually a link so if you're getting links and things like that it's a great way to sort of organize your uh, your clippings your things like that uh, just on a temporary basis until you go and actually drag them into uh, wherever you want them to go uh, in terms of the setup there really isn't much setup to it as I say it is just a menu bar app that sits in the top uh, the controls that you have over it are for example you can uh, if I just move these all out of the way you can change a few of the settings so the window position uh, at the moment I've got it left at the top but you can also have it left at the center uh, and so on <laughs> left at the bottom you get the idea or right right at the uh, bottom left or center, wherever you want it positioned. Now, what happens is it actually uh, pops up when you uh, hover. So when I pick up a file, or pick up an image or something like that and start to drag it then it will appear automatically or you can press the hotkey which is F5 uh, or obviously map that to a stream deck if you so wish uh, you can change the uh, size as well so it defaults to three items but you can make it much bigger if you want uh, just depending on how many things you are uh, changing uh, uh, 
moving rather <laughs> and then a few other things that you can change in there so uh, if I go into the preferences uh, then you can see at the moment so it automatically shows when I start dragging it's got a little graphic there to show you what's happening or you can uh, here press this toggle so uh, there's not much more to change to be honest apart from that uh, remove items when dragging them out so uh, you could toggle that off if you want to leave them in here and you can just actually duplicate them to different uh, places uh, combine multiple files to a stack so if you've got multiple images and things like that then you can have them to stack up uh, and yet yeah, just a few other different uh, different settings that you've got there but basically uh, that's how it works <laughs> launch yoink at login if you want it to be always running I personally don't have a lot of things that open at login I have a uh, set routine that I run that opens all the things that I uh, need under any given circumstances just because uh, I've got quite an old Mac and so I like to uh, only have the things running that I need to have running <laughs> but that is basically it and that's all I really wanted to tell you about today so that is a very short one I don't know if this might turn out to be my shortest video yet if you have liked it go and give it a like and and uh, if you want to know about any more of these apps that you can get as part of Setup, by the way, I did totally forget to actually tell you about Setup, didn't I? I know you've probably heard about it if you've watched some of my other videos, but in case you've just stumbled across this and this is your first time watching any of my videos, hello and welcome. <laughs> uh, but Setup is a uh, monthly subscription service. It's $9.99 a month, but if you use my link by going to takeonetech.io slash setup, then you can get a free trial, which is uh, two weeks. And then if you sign up after the free trial using my link, then you will get a free month. And I will also get a free month too. So that is how their referral link system works. And once you're a member, by the way, you can obviously sign up to the referral links too, uh, the referral program <laughs> too and then share it with uh, all of your friends and family because it really is a great way to get access to over 200 apps uh, for a really affordable uh, single monthly payment and you obviously get access to all of the upgrades and things like that that come with those apps as well so I do highly recommend it well that's just bumped the time along a little bit and now this is no longer my official shortest video so anyway thank you for sticking with it if indeed you have <laughs> I will we'll put a link to the playlist with all of the other set apps just uh, set up app apps <laughs> at the bottom right and so uh, I'll see you in one of those and until the next time have a great day <laughs>